Hi guys, my name is Nick aka okay, Folky and welcome to another brand new video. In today's video I'll be going over my top 7 junk items that you should in my opinion be picking up almost always. Over my many hours of playing this game I've come to learn what I need to pick up the most and what's slightly more important in the long run if you want to build big bases and craft weapons and armour. So when making this list I tried to prioritise a few things. Number 1, the weight to the amount of material efficiency i.e. how much material do you get compared to with the weight of the item number two what do you need most of in a game steel cloth etc and number three what are the semi-rare items that you always will be searching for like copper ceramic etc so now you have a brief overview of how and why i'm doing this video let's get straight to my number seven pick number seven pre-war money this is a no-brainer pickup to be honest pre-war money has no weight to it and you can get one cloth in return it's one of the most efficient junk items to pick up and it's a decent way to gather cloth for beds and such things like that. You can find pre-war money in shop tills, safes, pre-war ruins and in some chests. Number 6. Aluminium cans and tin cans. Aluminium cans and tin cans are a great source of aluminium and steel. Like pre-war money they are really efficient as you can get two steel or aluminium from one can that weighs only 0.1. The great thing about the cans are they almost everywhere. So if you pay attention whilst exploring and pick these up as you go along, you can come back to your base with quite a lot of steel and aluminium. Steel is mainly used in base building and aluminium in weapon crafting. Number 5. Coffee cups and ashtrays. Coffee cups and ashtrays are a great source of ceramic and can be found in most pre-war ruins around the world. The weight to material ratio is okay, but as ceramic is one of the harder to find semi-rare resources in the world, I don't mind a little bit of extra weight. Coffee cups give one ceramic and have a weight of 0.5, whilst dirty ashtrays have one ceramic, two if unused though, if you find an unused ashtray, they are two instead, and 0.5 in weight. Ceramic is mostly used for electronic stuff such as lights in your base. Number 4 Fuses, circuit boards and light bulbs. Now for number 4 I've decided to pair these three items together as they are quite as important as each other. The fuse has great material to weight ratio, the light bulb is kind of okay and the circuit board is on the heavier side. For the fuse you get one copper and one glass and has a weight of 0.1. The circuit board has five circuitry at a cost of two weight and light bulbs have one glass and one copper at the weight of 0.5. All of these items are great for building lights and defences in your base so if you see these items try to pick them up. Number 3 Duct Tape and Glue Duct tape and glue in this game will be your main source of adhesive in weapon and armour building. Duct tape has a fantastic ratio of one adhesive and one cloth at only weighing 0.1 and can be found almost anywhere. There are two types of glue you can find in Fallout 4, Wonder Glue and Economy Wonder Glue. Both are great sources of adhesive. The normal Wonder Glue has two adhesive and 0.1 weight per item and the Economy Wonder Glue has five adhesive but the weight was 0.7. If you find the glue or duct tape make sure to pick them up on your travel. Number 2 Flip Lighters Flip Lighters are another great material to weight ratio item. They have one oil, one spring and one steel at a weight of 0.5. These are slightly more hard to come by than the rest of the list but if you see one you should always most definitely pick it up as the materials are great for crafting turrets and weapons. And number 1 Desk Fans and Telephones Last but not least on my number one spot is telephones and desk fans. Even though both of these items are fairly heavy, they both have a decent amount of materials needed for base building and crafting. The desk fan has two gears, two screws and two steel with a weight of three. The main thing we're after here though are the screws as they are pretty hard to come by and are needed in most of the weapon crafting recipes you come across. Desk fans can typically be found in offices and pre-war ruins. Finally, the telephone has two circuitry, one copper and two fiberglass with a weight of 3. All of these materials are semi-rare and are needed in base building and armour crafting. Like the desk fan though, you can find a telephone on desks in homes and in pre-war ruins. Hopefully this list has given you some sort of idea on what to pick up when you're on travels around the world. The items on this list are the things that I most commonly look out for and what I keep in my inventory if I have to get rid of some stuff to free up some space. Just remember to keep an eye out for the following things when scavenging. Copper, ceramic, circuitry, screws, adhesive, steel and oil. These are the semi-rare items in Fallout 4 that you will need most of the time, apart from steel of course, as that's, that's quite readily available from your base. And we'll probably run it at one, one point or another. 
If you want me to do a video listing my top 5 rarest junk items to collect, then let me know in the comment section down below. And let's get, try and get this video to 10 likes. Hope this video has helped you out. Take care guys, I'll see you in the next one.